get ready with me as I talk through makeup products I use as a redhead. And we are back in the Gen Z headband because it's all I got. So what prompted this video is I saw a couple of you comment on what I use for eyebrows, foundation, all that good stuff because as other redheads know, you can't use everything on the market. Some things just don't go well with our skin tone because usually it's quite uneven, as you can tell. I also should preface, this is my everyday natural makeup routine. So first I'll go in with this Lancome foundation and it's great for sensitive skin. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Concealer. You can tell she's been loved in the color Sapia. So on more natural days, I'll use the Clinique contour because I'm just not gonna put it everywhere. Usually just like on my nose and cheeks for a little bit of dimension. Next, I'll go in with this Givenchy Prism powder and I find the color rose is great for fair skin like myself. Look how much that brightens and you don't need a lot. I usually just put it under my eyes on my more natural makeup days. Next I'll go in with this Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector and I use this instead of bronzer sometimes. I just like how it keeps the glow and doesn't look too cakey on the skin. I feel like I've said this before for this blush, the packaging is awful. It will explode when you travel, but I love the color of this pink orgasm I think it is from Charlotte Tilbury. Especially on a fair skin, it looks really good. So if you're a redhead, you know bronzy shades are your best friend. This is the Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so if you're a redhead, you know eyebrow products are a big deal. And the colors that are available on the market are not the best. I'll be the first to say that. And mine are actually a little bit darker than a typical redhead. But I love these two Benefit products. And they do have more of an auburn tint. A little bit of Enlighten by Rare Beauty. Lips are another thing that redheads need to be careful with because not all the colors look great on us. This is Burgundy by NYX. I love it. I've had it forever and it's a drugstore product. And of course, I was influenced by the legendary Alex Earl. This is a Juicy Lip by Tarte. Wow, I'm so sorry. I just realized those clips are going to be sped up. But I just got this mascara. I think it's Ilia. Don't come at me if that's wrong. But it's a clean mascara for my lash lift and tint. I do absolutely love it, though. And this is the final look. 